During uh, the Senator, Senator Rand Paul's visit to New Jersey, Craig grabbed the chance to ask the senator about Syria, about Libya, and about Governor Chris Christie. Here's Craig. We will maintain our military posture in the region to keep the pressure on the Assad regime. And if diplomacy fails, the United States and the international community must remain prepared to act. As President Obama seeks congressional approval to invade Syria, senators like Rand Paul of Kentucky say, we haven't even taken care of the people who invaded our embassy in Benghazi. We, we, we lost four Americans. Last night, I want to assure you, we will bring their killers to justice. President Obama said uh, a year ago on September 11th, after the attack in Syria, that we were going to get the people responsible. Do you think it's ironic that he wants to go into Syria when we haven't brought the people responsible for those attacks on our ambassador to justice? Benghazi, uh, no. And in fact, I think really we've known for about a year at least one of the people's been interviewed by the television networks. So no, I think we haven't done the job in Benghazi. Were any of these weapons being transferred to other countries, any countries, Turkey included? Well, Senator, you'll have to direct, direct that question to uh, the agency that uh, ran the annex. The junior Republican senator from Kentucky believes Hillary Clinton lied before Congress about the CIA operations in Benghazi arming the Islamic rebels in Syria and wants the former Secretary of State brought back before the House Oversight Committee and specifically asked if she knew of the CIA gun running operation. But there's one thing they failed to address and I think you failed to address and it sets us up for another tragedy like this. They should have never been sent in there without a military guard. No one in our government who didn't provide security, adequate security when it was requested, Hillary Clinton on down, nobody was ever punished. And I think that's wrong and really a mistake for the president to get us involved in a new war when he really hasn't brought anybody to justice for Benghazi. We have a great leader here, Senator Rand Paul. Senator Rand Paul was visiting the Garden State to campaign against Newark Mayor Cory Booker in his bid to fill the Senate seat vacated by the late Frank Lautenberg in a special election October 16. And I believe in the Bill of Rights. All of the Bill of Rights. Well, I'm here to endorse Steve Lonigan. We're excited about his candidacy. Uh, we're excited about a candidate that I think can really grow the Republican Party up here. This sequester, the president says, oh my goodness, the planes will crash. Rand's appearance is especially noteworthy giving his bitter feud with New Jersey's tough governor, Chris Christie, who criticized Senator Paul's libertarian view of foreign policy. This strain of libertarianism that's going through both parties right now and, and making big headlines, I think is a very dangerous thought. I love all these esoteric debates that people are getting in. Senator Rand Paul, for example. Well, listen, you can name any number of people who have engaged and he's one of them. Paul fired back, bashing Christie in July at a Tennessee fundraiser taped by the Tennessean for his call for unfettered federal funding after Superstorm Sandy. They're precisely the same people who are unwilling to cut the spending, and they're gimme, 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 gimme all my Sandy money now. Now, this is the one thing that you do agree with New Jersey Governor Chris Christie with. I yeah, I think we're on the same page with this, and uh, I think the governor endorsed uh, Steve Lonigan a couple of weeks ago. Now... Uh, one thing that we can't ignore is the fact that uh, you have these fires going on uh, the New Jersey boardwalk, uh, devastating uh, effect on the New Jersey shore after uh, the hurricane, after the storm. You and uh, the governor have been in contention over funding for repairs for the storm. What, and obviously, this is going to be another call for federal funding. What do you think? Yeah. You know, I think some of it's been a misunderstanding. People who have made comments on my comments on Sandy funding haven't quite understood the situation. I was in favor of Sandy funding one year at a time, and I would have paid for it by taking the money out of money we're sending overseas. So there's different ways that you can try to fix problems in our country. One is just to spend the money by borrowing it from China, or another is to spend the money on something that I think we all agreed it was a disaster up here for Sandy. Spend the money, but be responsible. Take the money from money we're spending building bridges and boardwalks in Pakistan and you do it in New Jersey. So really it's a matter of how you do it, not whether you do it. Uh, talking about sending money overseas, um, I just want to get an understanding of how you're feeling about the, uh, the intervention in Syria. 
I think it's a mistake to get involved in that civil war. You know, on the one side we have Assad, who appears that he's gassed his own citizens, civilians, children. It's awful and horrific. On the other side we have Islamic rebels who are beheading people, shooting priests, kidnapped two bishops, eating the heart of a, of a soldier. There's not a lot of good people in that war, and I just don't see a compelling American uh, interest in the civil war in Syria. I am honored and humbled by your being here today and having this Senator Rand Paul come up from Washington to endorse me and to ignite this kind of energy. Like Senator Rand Paul, I have been adamantly opposed in engaging in a civil war. We do not belong in that war. And uh, I've been consistent on this from the very beginning. Like many Republicans engaged in preventing another war, Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky refuses to endorse an invasion of Syria with no clear allies in the rebel forces. Geraldo, back to you. Craig, thanks.